Right, uh, this is Chantal from Be Inspired, and I promised that I would Kitchener for you today. Well, yesterday, but yesterday ran away with me. So I've got 12 stitches on each of my higher, higher flies for my toe. So I'm now going to Kitchener them together. So I'm just going to cut off the length of this yarn and thread it on my needle. I don't do the setup because I find it gives dog ears, little doggy ears. So I literally go straight into the Kitchener. And I found an easy way after many, many goes of this of remembering what stitch to do where. Mm -hmm. So I start with my yarn at the back on the back needle. And if you look on the front needle, what's facing me is my knit stitches. That's important. And on this needle, what's facing me is my purl stitches. So. I'm going to go into my first knit stitch on the front and because it's a knit stitch I'm going to say to myself knit Let me just move them along knit and take it off and the purl stitch so to purl leave it on and then you're going to pull so what you want is for these stitches to actually look continuous so don't pull too tight don't pull too loose but you can go back and fix that so now we're on this back needle, and as I said, these, these are purl stitches facing me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this back stitch and purl. So I'm purling it as if to, take, as if to purl it, and I'm going to take it off. So purl, take it off, and then I'm going to knit this next stitch along, knit, leave it on. And just tighten it up. Okay, so remember the front is your knit looking at you, so to remember is knit, take it off, purl, leave it on. Back is purl looking at you, so purl, take off, and then go as if to knit, leave it on. Okay, we're going to go all the way along. Knit, off, pull, on. On my back needle, and pull, off, and knit, on. And now here's Grinch to come and see what I'm doing. What are you doing, Grinchy? He's now licking my hand. This is his thing he does when I do videos. <laughs> he likes my hands. Come, Boyki. No, Boyki, come. Okay, so now we've left that on. So you can start to see the stitches. So I could probably pull them up a little bit tighter. If I have my glasses on, I can go and just even them out and just pull the little stitches, the little things here and just make them tighter okay so we're in the front knit so it's knit off and pull leave it on back pull off whoops and did i just take a stitch off my and knit leave it on front knit off pull leave on Grinch wants to chase the, the string, the yarn now. Back is pull off, knit on. And you can start to see that, oh, I don't know if my phone is going to focus, but these little stitches are actually just continued around. Okay, we're in the front, so we're going to go knit off, pull on. Back is pull off and let's leave it on. So just be careful, these slippery little sliders, flyers. Okay, so front again, let's off, pull, leave it on. Back is pull off, knit, leave it on. Front, knit off, 
pull on. Back is pull off. Let's leave it on. Front is knit off and pull, leave it on. Oops, got the tail cord. Back, pull off, knit on. Front is knit off. Pull on. And the purpose of this is so you don't have a ridge by your toes. It's just like a clean, continuous knitting. It's like there's no seam there. Okay, we're going to knit this last stitch. I'm going to pull this one on. Oops. And at the back. Oops. And you have to have the same number of stitches on the front and back. So I had 12 and 12. I'm going to pull that off. It looks like a bit of a stitches. Move, pull off, and knit. Leave it on. And then this one, you're going to knit it off. Knit off and pull on. Well, oh, pull off now. Then I do find at the end I have a little, like a little loop, but I sort of sew it in. So let me put my hand in here. So you shouldn't actually, it's so, my phone is not focusing. Let me see if I can zoom in. So you should have neat little rows. I'm distorting it with my fingers, but you shouldn't be able to see where those stitches are, where you've worked them. So in other words, you shouldn't have some huge ones and some tiny ones. Mine are pretty much consistently uneven. No, I'm kidding. And there's no seam there. Can you see? So it looks pretty good. Then what I do with this little guy here, can you see there's a little, like, all I do is I just take it down a bit and I just go in. Just to smooth it out. And then I'm just going to do a few little, like, almost duplicate stitches. Just to get that end away. So I'm almost just stitching over the... Can't see where I've. Okay, you can put it in, and then at the back you can go turn it inside out, and just sew that end away. Out. There you go. So there's one kitchener. It's really, really easy. Not hard at all. The trick, I think, is to get the right tension. You're not pulling it too tight or too loose. So, there we go. Let's zoom out. Ooh. And if you want to know what yarn this is, it's the um, S. Teresa sock blank that I've been using. I'll show you what it looks like. So, it's pre-knitted and then hand-dyed or painted. And then you basically start knitting and as you knit it unravels <laughs> and it's the best fun ever i can't explain what fun it is um it is a little bit kinky obviously 
Um, so I know people who knit loose, their socks have got little kinks in. But my sock, I knit socks really tight because I think your stitches need to be really, really tight and small. So you can see it hasn't affected my knitting. So, and then I've got a lovely mauve came with it. <sighs> so I just love it. And what I discovered was, do you see that's got these subtle stripes? Obviously the front and the back of this um, is slightly different. Um, depending on how the yarn went through or what happened there. So when you're knitting across or you're pulling out, you're knitting from this bit is the front. And then because I'm knitting in the round, the back bit is the next strap. So that's how it's doing straps. Front, back, front, back, front, back. So I think that's pretty clever. So there you go. That's Kitchener. Hope I've debunked the idea that it's difficult. It really isn't. Okay, Chantal from Be Inspired over and out.